Oh, comrades, Commissar Bro here today with another episode of our Poland playthrough. That's right. I hope you're all excited as much as I am. Yeah, if that makes sense. I'm excited. As excited as I am. Yes, okay, that does make sense. It makes perfect sense. Also, I learned a pretty cool little trick uh, from one of our subscribers. See, this shows us everything about the various countries' militaries. That's right. See, we can even see Czechoslovakia. Their offensive and defensive capabilities. Thankfully, they are pretty... I mean, they're, they're the greatest scream of things. They're not that weak. But, you know, compared to such a luscious military force such as ourselves, they are found wanting, if you know what I mean. So, with that in mind, I think it's pretty safe to say we are quite a scary force. Now, the only two armies left in the world that have the capabilities to really uh, overpower us in an overwhelming manner is the USSR and the United Kingdom. And, I mean, France, too. They, they, they still have the capabilities to probably do some serious damage to us, but that's okay. This is okay because of the fact that France loves us, so we don't really have to be afraid of them doing anything to us. And as such, I'm not very afraid that they're going to do anything to us. Ooh, applied physics. Oh, yes, get so much of this stuff. Sorry, we got we got to go down the list one more time. So, with that in mind, dear, dear comrades, you do know what that means, right? Yes, I hope you do. That means that Czechoslovakia will go down. Not to mention, it seems as though an overwhelming majority of you want to see Czechoslovakia get that ass whipped. Well, just, you know, n n nothing against many of my Czech and or Slovakian viewers out there. But we coming in for that ass. I hope you realize. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do that. I'm going to move this army into position. Um, I feel like I should kind of move some other forces into position uh, to ensure that we don't lose. But you know what? I'm not going to. All right. Our armies are aligned and ready for delicious battle. So let war against Czechoslovakia begin. Poland declared war on Czechoslovakia. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. No shame. No shame. All right, so we're going to move into Carpatha, or Carpathia. Uh, we're going to bring in our tank, the 13th Army there. We're going to bring that in from the south. We're going to bring in the 1st Army to attack uh, the Danubian Lowland, as well as the 20th Army to kind of hit them in like a, a double whammy. As a matter of fact, we'll bring in the 6th to do that, too. Yeah, I hit him real nice and hard, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, what do we got down here? Okay, so we're going to bring in our mechanized infantry of the 9th Army. Push that in. And then the 14th Army is going to hit against the 25th. So, if everything goes according to plan, we should literally be able to take them all in one clean move. Uh, yes, I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work out that way, but we're going to try in that turn. Alright. Alright, okay. So we have split Czechoslovakia in half. We've taken Carpathia. Um, Alright, the fight's going good there. How's the fight going here? Alright, overwhelmingly positive. Uh, how about here? Overwhelmingly positive once again. Not overwhelmingly positive. That's not good. I should have looked better at the defensive values. That is okay. We're going to bring these guys. Actually, you know what? We're just going to try to full on take over the Sudetenland. Maybe use our airplanes. Can they reach that far? They cannot. <laughs> Damn. Some short range fighters, man. Alright. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess we'll just. We'll just kind of push up from the south from here, and or from the east, not really the south. All right, heavy tanks produced, leap sieg. Leap sieg! All right. Okay, our forces are holding. They're taking a bit of damage, but they're all right. Merge the 22nd into the 18th into the 14th. Yeah, there we go. 
push the 14th in to the west. And we'll merge all these zombies together as well. The 20th. Actually, no, we won't. Uh, since. Oh, wow. Look at that attack power. That's insane. How's Carpathia? Carpathia is almost about to fall. So I'm not too concerned about it. Alright, so I'm going to reposition the 1st Army back down there, and I'm going to reposition the 6th Army on the east, because it looks like Czechoslovakia is going down, baby. It is going down. They tried fighting, but unfortunately, their best was not enough against the Polish tanks. That's right, I totally pulled the Blitzkrieg. Let's see what our, uh, our feelings with other countries are now. Alright, so they have kind of fallen significantly. They're still pretty strong with a lot of these countries. Yeah, so they're still pretty strong, um, but it has fallen significantly as far as it was before. Um, let's look at Russia. How does Russia feel about us? And of course, they don't really care. They still dislike us. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Whatever, Russia. We don't want to be your friends anyway. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You dirty Soviets. That's right, those dirty Soviets trying to tell us how to live our life. That's right. Alright, so we're going to bring in the 17th Army down there in Pest. Alright, let all that move. Large factory complete to involve. Um, annex their territories. Poland annexed Czechoslovakia. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. You see this? Isn't this just a thing of beauty? Look at all that land we own. Oh, and we took over five more pieces of research points. Re cities with research points. Oh, it's, it's good to be the king. Ladies and gentlemen, it is good to be the king. Not really the king, but the, uh, the powerful person in the room, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> How else would you put that? Basically, it, it's good to be the most powerful country in Europe right now. Nobody else really has anything on us. Let's, can we merge these armies? Let's see, the 9th, 19th. Alright, yeah, we're gonna merge all these into one nice Mexi army. But it's gonna be the 9th army. I like to have smaller digits lead, if you guys were wondering. Oh, wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Almost 2,000. So, we're gonna bring that one right over here into Romania. The Tarnopol, or the north of Romania there. The north of it. And then we'll bring this as a defensive position. Push up towards there. Alright. Alright, looks good. So now we have some serious freaking firepower to, uh, turn to bear towards the Germans. We no longer have to worry about uh, Czechoslovakia blocking the way between our two countries. And our stability actually just went up by 5% by unite or bringing uh, Czechoslovakia into our lands. So that works out for us. Absolutely. Now what we need to do is we need to improve roadways. All down the line. That's right. We need those good smexy roads to be able to travel upon. So that we can get the most effective roadways. That's right. Or the, the yeah, pretty much the best the best movement speeds. I'm building farms in so many locations though. <laughs> like like all these farms are building, man. Food. Food is such a problem. We are starving. We are starving in New Poland, the Greater Poland Empire. That's a shame. It's just a real shame. And we're still losing money. It says my revenue is only 130 million a turn. I don't believe that, considering how many cities are actually producing stuff. Uh, applied physics. Applied physics. Everything goes into applied physics. And chemical fertilizers. Let's do that too. Yeah. Chemical fertilizers. Alright. Sweet. Look, by the way, look at how high Warsaw is now. 112, that's right. Warsaw is now the most industrially advanced city in the world. The most factory, and it probably has a black sky. Isn't that just wonderful? I know it is. I'm so happy for, uh, for Warsaw. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, basically, our next 
uh, state of affairs, I guess, should be considering on what to do next with Russia. Because Russia is undoubtedly going to be the real concern we have uh, at this point in time, you know, considering they're where they are. Do I seriously not have all these buildings? Oh, well, I gotta build all these buildings before I start doing other stuff. Yes, medical center, research facility, large factory upgrade, large factory upgrade, large factory upgrade. Alright, there we go. But yeah, so we gotta consider what we're gonna do with Russia. Because, of course, we could wait for them to probably declare war on us. I'm sure it would happen um, if we want to do that. Otherwise, we can go ahead and push against them and show them the the wrath of Poland. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely something we could think about. Kind of figure out what we want to do. Also, I'm building anti-aircraft batteries. You can never have too many of those. All right, and what's our food production? Are we still negative food production? Oh God, oh goodness. Even after like I'm completely revamping the entire agricultural, the way we do agriculture in, um, in Poland, we're still like crippled on food. That's not good. We've expanded too quickly. Yeah, and, yeah, and we industrialized too quickly as well. So that's something we need to keep in mind and be concerned about. You know, what's our rankings now? Alright, so the second in IPUs, we're third in tech, fifth in wealth, third in rank, and 65th in manpower. Yeah, but our manpower is growing at a uh, ridiculously quick rate. So we've got that going for us. Alright. And just basically, we're in terms at this point. Alright, so we're like 40 turns ahead. That's right. I'm just running today, boys. So... Um, yes, yes, basically what I've been doing, just so you all know, I fixed the food problem for the most part, at least we caught up to it, just by a little bit, um, we don't really have any problems anywhere else, we're producing enough coal, we're producing enough metal, we are a little short on arms, because we're producing, or we're consuming 47 a turn, and we're only producing 50. Now, of course, manpower is always a growing issue, the lack thereof, mind you. Uh, to do new things. Why am I still building large factories here? I don't need large factories anymore. Yes, we only need nice, happy, unfactory type things. Ooh, synthetic fuel plants. We could use that for the future. Now, and I've gotten like a frick ton of technologies, just FYI. So, alright. The next issue we have, again, is Russia. I've been looking at the Russian area. And it looks like they're very heavily covered by bombers. That's right. So that's kind of a concern for us because that's something we haven't really been focusing on is anti-aircraft. So I started building up us a pretty nice air force over here. Again, it, it was only just started about 10 turns ago. But already we have two light bomber squadrons and three basic fighter squadrons. So yeah. That's, that's a good thing we've got going on there. Um, I'm still concerned, though, because they have a lot of airplanes, and that's a lot of ground to cover. So we're also building early warning radars and anti-aircraft batteries in all of our places. As you can see here, we have a nice little defensive line that's getting built all the way down the line. I'm also starting to plop down air bases in various areas. Because you never know where an airbase will be needed, or when it will be needed, if needed at all, which I imagine it probably will be at some point. Um, and this game, you know, you can't just plop down a... It, unlike making history gold, you can't just have airplanes wherever. You have to have an airbase to be able to use them. So, yeah. So that's kind of what we're doing. We are focusing on that. Getting that out of the way, dear comrades. That's a lot. And, uh, yes, all that good stuff. Really, that's that's the main thing I'm focusing on right now. I'm really just preparing for a major war with Russia. That's right. I want to catch them by surprise before they modernize, because it looks like they haven't really modernized their military. At least not on this front. Maybe they have on the eastern front. But on the western front here, they have not. Like, if we just sit here and look through their army, plus they're spread so thin over such a large area, while we are condensed to a rather small area. 
But see, if we hit them, the goal is kind of like a Blitzkrieg, right? That's what I'm thinking. What I'm also thinking is take the ninth, cut them here. Like a nice surgical precision right through their jump. Pretty much go right through uh, Romania. We'll take here Bessarabia and then move into Bebjak. Uh, so we cut their supply there. Probably have to occupy De Bruja as well. Uh, so I should probably start building more guys. <laughs> if that's my if that's my my idea. Because what I'm thinking is if we occupy, we cut supplies to these fellows, and then we can come in and just pretty much cut them all off. It would work all very beautifully. Alright, so we just got depth charges. So we're pretty much just researching whatever comes down the line at this point. So, the question becomes, what next? Do we wait for Russia to attack? Do we continue to build up, our, build up our military might until we are pretty much an unstoppable force of destruction and conquest? I don't know, comrades. That's what I'm asking you. This has been Commissar Bro, and feel free to comment in the comments section how we should proceed next. Do you feel like our military is enough to take on our enemies? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But yeah. Uh, anyway, this has been CB, and I'll see you next time.